Mets first baseman Pete Alonzo, who joins us. He's part of the All In Challenge. And so let's get right into this, Pete. What is the experience that you are offering to folks here to raise money to help feed people who need it so desperately during this time? So basically the All In Challenge, um, I mean, it's basically Fanatics is putting on the event and it's basically everyone's going to be all the proceeds are going to be going to people who need meals or just basically anyone who uh, is affected negatively by COVID-19. So the, all the proceeds are going to be donated towards that because this, this pandemic has really affected a lot of people. And I'm just trying to help out and I'm going to be donating a fishing experience with uh, me, uh, my buddy Trajan Rodriguez, who's a, who's a captain uh, in Tampa Bay and we're, it's going to be you and um, and two buddies, and we're going to go out there and, and rip some lips and slice some fish, and then after the after the trip, we'll we'll have dinner and I'll have some uh, some autograph stuff. So you can bid on that experience on uh, Fanatics' website, and I'm I'm pumped up about it. Uh, I'm wonderful. really pumped up about it. It's a wonderful gesture on your part, and there's no doubt that'll bring in a lot of money because people love fishing so much. Now, I would tell you very quickly, I've done very little fishing in my life, and I've actually never caught a fish, which has been the source of enormous frustration for me. What kind of fish are we out there catching? What, give me a sense of what it is we're going after on this trip. So basically, it would be redfish, snook trout. That Those are like the, the basic main target species in Tampa Bay. Uh, the Tampa Bay fishery is absolutely fantastic, but obviously, like, if uh, if you want to go after something different, like it's it's going to be your charter. Like if you want to go after like snapper or, or like if you want to catch a shark or something, then obviously uh, me and my buddy will will make it happen. So, um, but I think it's uh, it's 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 going to be awesome. So I, I mean, whatever it's whatever the uh, whoever whoever the winner is, it, it's it's you guys' show. We're just going to be out there having a good time. So. Wonderful that Sorry, you're doing this. I'll leave my fishing jokes for another time because this is serious business here. <laughs> you're donating this uh, experience to, to raise lots of money for such an important cause. While I have you, mm -hmm. Pete, quickly, uh, there's been a lot of talk about baseball trying to come back, which obviously we all want so desperately, and you wrote that really nice letter there to the fans. We hear this talk about the possibility of a bubble city, if you will, in Arizona where everyone might be. What kinds of conversations have you been having with other players about that, and what are your thoughts on it? Well, for me, I would like it uh, because you would have all of us in the same area. You would cut down on travel, which would limit um, limit outside exposure. And for me, I I, I was uh, lucky enough to play in the Arizona Fall League, and I it would just be like a, a big league version of the the Arizona Fall League. And for me, I I would be I would be a fan of it. And there's plenty of complexes, plenty of room, and I mean. This is just my my personal idea. And then if you have every team out there at the complexes, sharing complexes, let's say uh, you have six teams per complex, then you have you're allowed to have an 11 o'clock game, a three o'clock game and a seven o'clock game mm. all at the same complex. Like you would have teams rotating in and out. Guys would. Um, and then obviously, like things would be able to be wiped down between games and stuff like that. But. I think it's that'd be a good um, that'd be a good option. Like if if things don't get like turned in a, an extremely positive way, because ideally we'd like to play in our home stadiums. Like for me, I love playing in New York and I love playing at City Field. And, and but I mean, who know, who knows what can happen? I mean, I, I think that if playing in Arizona is like is one of the only options, I don't think that's a bad idea. I, I'm. I, I, I would think it's a good idea. Well, let's all root for it. And again, you've done so much here. You do so much with your own charity, Homers for Heroes, and now being a part yep. of this All In uh, Challenge. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.